Hey guys, if you want to hear in today's video, I'm about to provide you with a step-by-step -step strategy that allows you to sell printables on Etsy and make hundreds of dollars in passive income in the process. So let's give it a try. Now, first and foremost, Etsy.com is an insanely popular marketplace. We are talking of over 370 million total visits, and that is on a monthly basis, with a staggering 60% of the traffic coming from the United States. In the second position, we've got the United Kingdom, then places like Canada, Germany, Australia. And so these are all top-tier countries, which means that the earning potential here is pretty high. Now, what visitors typically do when they connect to Etsy.com is they start browsing through all of these different categories. Let's just say they're looking for jewelry or accessories, or they're just searching for clothing items, or perhaps they need something for their wedding, such as an invitation or a wedding gift or wedding decorations. You name it, they got it. They've got just such a wide range of different items you can purchase. But in today's video, as mentioned before, we will be focusing on a very narrow niche. And there's a lot of money on the table, trust me. And as the name I suggest, those are going to be printables. Now, in case you're not familiar with the term, these are items that you can create digitally using the software that I'm about to show you, and then those can be printed, right? It is pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? So let me show you exactly what that means. I'm talking about invitations, posters, banners, announcements, even more unique stuff, such as this daily planner, which I think is a really bright idea. You've got full control here. But I'm not going to leave you guessing. Moving forward, I'm going to provide you with a very precise use case that you can just replicate. Now, you don't necessarily have to. You can diversify. You can go more creative about it. But I'm about to provide you with a template so you can just follow along. And here's what I was thinking about. Let's just say that we want to help somebody who's just listed their property on Airbnb. And so they're expecting to get tourists to check in at their place for a while. How can we improve their experience? Can we actually bring more value? Can we improve their visit in some sort of way? If we can improve that, chances are those tourists will leave a better review for the property. And so we are also helping the property owner get more clients in the future. Not directly, but you get the idea. And so in order to maximize our chances of creating something that is actually useful and can be used in real life, we need to think about it chronologically. So let's just take it one step at a time. What's the first thing that tourists will do? They're just gonna check in, right? And so a welcome sign, believe it or not, is a great idea. That being said, what I want you to do moving forward is switch over to canva.com. And I'm positive you guys already know the website. We've been using it for a while now. The best part about it is that you don't have to download anything onto your device and you can use thousands of pre-done templates that are all fully editable. And you can do that in your browser, which is even better, isn't it? Now, taking it one step further, I want you to just type in something along the lines of welcome sign. That will display hundreds of different templates that match your selection. And then you can further filter your search by choosing a category, a style, a theme, or even a color. And at this point, you've got full control. But for me personally, this one looks just perfect. So let me actually select that one. But now, of course, we cannot just leave it as it is because it doesn't make too much sense, right? And so let's start customizing it. I'm going to replace that text that says now and type in welcome instead. That's a good starting point. And then you might also want to add the name of the property if it's got a name or the address. And for the sake of time now, I'm gonna keep things very simple and straight to the point. But now of course you can play around with different features, different designs, and find one that you really like. But the most important thing here is that you stay consistent with the template that you've chosen. So once you've chosen a certain template for the welcome sign, you want to create something very similar for the next designs as well. Basically, what we have in mind here is creating the ultimate Airbnb host bundle. And so there will be multiple different designs serving different purposes. We're not just going to sell that uh, welcome sign, right? Nobody's going to purchase that on its own. But now let's take it one step further. So let's say that their tourists have just checked in, right? What's the next thing they're going to do? They will probably check the internet connection because they've been away for a while and they need to check their social media. And so what we can do is help them out and provide them with the passwords to the Wi-Fi connection. We can just create this small design right here, which is very simple, that offers them both the name of the Wi-Fi connection and the password, and that's it. Guys, you don't have to go too crazy about it. In this case, less is more. Another great idea would be creating a template that is specifically designed to drive those tourists to the property's Instagram page so they can interact with the content, they can engage with it, and they can also leave a review, why not, or some comments, things of that sort, you get a point. And here's another great one, something that most people overlook actually, a checkout list. There are certain things that tourists need to do just before checking out. And that usually wastes people a lot of time. So if you can help them out, that will be a great little addition. 
And those can just be some basic things such as strip the beds, load the dishwasher, empty the fridge or dispose the garbage, right? And now again, you've got full freedom here. At the end of the day, it is your design so you can start playing around. If you have an idea and you want to implement it, go ahead. And I personally think that another great idea would be pointing out certain locations to visit for those tourists so that you can help improve their overall experience. But now that you've created all of those individual designs, what you want to do is click on the share button and then download the final result. But here's a key part. Do not download it as PNG or JPG file. Here's the thing, we cannot just sell this picture right here that says Aqua Magic Hotel. Nobody's gonna purchase that. They need to add their own details on it, right? And so what you wanna do is download it as a PDF. I know it doesn't make too much sense, but it's gonna make sense in a second, so stick with me. Again, what you wanna do is download it as a PDF standard file. Then you wanna head over to a Google search tab and type in PDF to PSD converter, and you will find all of these different options that will get the job done. The idea here is that the PSD file that we wanna achieve ultimately is editable. This is just a Photoshop file. And so once a business purchases one of those designs they have just created, they can add their own particular details on top of it. So they can customize it for their needs. That is how you can create one single design and sell it to hundreds or even thousands of different businesses. So you can make passive income off of it. That is exactly how all of these users right here are doing it. Now, of course, when it comes to printables, there are some other things you can do. For instance, you can double down on creating printable art. But for me personally, creativity is not one of my strengths right and so i'm trying to avoid that as much as possible but now guys here's the thing to be 100 truthful this airbnb ultimate host guide was not my idea this is actually something that's generated thousands of sales so far this user right here has listed this exact template for 11 euro they've got a few different designs as you can see and they're all made in canva now if you want to purchase this design you can even choose the color scheme here you can customize the design. There are a lot of things you can do, so they are providing a lot of value. But all in all, this exact product allowed them to generate over $50,000 so far. It's a bestseller, and I can see why. It's just a great idea overall. And that's the thing, you do not have to necessarily come up with something unique, revolutionary, or new to the market. You can just identify a flaw and try to come up with a solution. For instance, tourists are regularly quite confused especially when it comes to the checkout list and the requirements. That is exactly what this guy right here identified and they created a template especially for that. And of course the Airbnb host bundle is just an example. There are so many things you can do. It only takes you a few minutes to create those designs using Canva. You've literally got all of these pre-done templates you can customize. And so if you're not trying this method, you are missing out. There's a lot of cash on the table and this might actually be one of the easiest ways you can start making your first profits online. No skill is required because all of those templates are already done for you. All you gotta do is pick a niche and double down on that and that's pretty much it. Moving forward, once you have listed your design on Etsy, you don't even have to generate the traffic yourself because the website gets a lot of organic traffic. Again, we're talking about a lot of volume here, over 300 million total visits, which is more than enough. And so I want you guys to give it a try and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.